Today was a transmitter trip day, so got to have a little bit of fun, got to get out of the office and, and, and do something semi-normal for once. Um, we had to deliver propane to our undisclosed location because that site runs on propane, like I just said. Driving back down from our undisclosed location, uh, we had to deliver propane. And now our propane is full, which is a good thing because uh, we have another storm coming in on Sunday, possibly. And uh, it's all solar generated up here. And if there's no sun, there's no power. So we have propane generators that keep us on the air for this station. So we uh, had to make sure we had propane. Okay, so now heading back uh, down the mountain oh, uh, without dying. That's, that's very difficult sometimes. Uh. That was that was kind of nice to get out, but it was such a crunch day of, of so many things crammed into a single day. Yesterday or this morning, we had the live broadcast again. It's still not something we can hand off yet and have it be automatic. There's a lot of, um, for lack of a better term, hand holding with from the engineering crew to the production side of things. Thank you, Kway family. We appreciate you so much. Go silent. And that's it, it's all done. Um, so we were here this morning, we were getting that all working, and then we tested for tomorrow's program right afterwards, which took a little bit of time as well. So we're testing for tomorrow. We've got yeah. uh, our guy up. Yeah, 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 Doug, uh, we're testing on this side and we have audio. All good. Uh, and then I left to go escort our propane guy up the mountain, rushed back here because we had somebody coming in on the afternoon live talk show, Pastor's Perspective, we had someone calling in with Skype on that. And so I had to make sure that that was gonna work right and work proper. Chad was really good at getting that working without uh, very little input from me. So good job for him, good job, Chad. And, um, and then right after that, we tested for our special guest for tomorrow's live show, pastor's perspective. So, and that took about an hour with some technical troubleshooting that needed to happen. So, yeah, end of the day, well, end of this day. Now it's a, a matter of continuing on and making um, continual improvements to the processes that we have for these new endeavors that we've got going on. Um, We've got to find a way to, to kind of smooth out how we do these uh, morning things and the afternoon things, uh, just, you know, so there's less hand-holding that we have to do. Every station in a major market like Los Angeles encodes a signal in their audio. It comes from a box like this. And what this box does is it puts the signal in the audio. It's there, it's at the same level as all the audio, but you don't hear it because of some, really cool things, science, anyways. So there's people who work, who are volunteers for Nielsen, and they're the ones who uh, do the ratings, and how many people listen to radio stations and TV too. So anyways, so these diary keepers, these volunteers, have these little pager-like devices that have microphones on them, and they listen for that encoded signal in the audio. And when they hear it, it starts logging how long and how often and how many people are listening to the station. Now, to make sure that our encoder works, they provide a monitor, this device, which listens to it just like the pager, but it monitors to see if we're still encoding. And if the light's green, that means we're still encoding. If the light starts flashing red, that means we're not encoding. So I got a message from Nielsen saying, hey, you're not encoding. Well, light's green, we're encoding. So, I don't know, we'll find out. Well, that was a quick emergency trip back to the station. <laughs> um, yeah, touchscreen stopped working. Did a little bit of uh, troubleshooting there and ended up getting it working. 
uh, yeah, the mouse was doing all weird things, it was staying stuck up in the corner, and then the touchscreen part wasn't working, so I got the mouse working by restarting. There's a extension box underneath the counter that extends it from the to the studio back all the way to our tech room. Um, so we started that, got the mouse back, but touchscreen still didn't work, and they kind of rely on the touchscreen in the studio. So restarted the whole computer that we have a. a a hot standby basically of all the programs and it's on a little compact flash card so we play it off of that at the same time that we play it out of the computer just as a backup as a hot standby backup and so uh, once we uh, switched over to that restarted the computer everything came up and everything was happy all right back home and now this ends my day stay safe stay healthy